So can we talk about 3D printing for a little bit? How did yeah. how did it strike you? Uh did you see somebody doing it and you're just like, hey, I bet this has got to oh, work in the now I have to tell you about my my uh my helper Breno. Uh -huh. he, he's uh um he came here on a student visa, mm -hmm. 22 years old. He was working for the landscape company right next door to my shop. And what happened is uh I was just overwhelmed trying to make the tools for Stumac. So I hired this kid from the landscape company and we just hit it off. I really liked it. We became good friends and like we chat about life at breakfast. And, uh -huh. and at some point he said, he was telling me about 3d printing. He was really into it. He's like, you know, this might be of use to, to the shop in some way. And I mm -hmm. said, I'm not interested in it, but if you're interested in, I'm happy to fund your, your research. And so I said, just let me know. I said, just get whatever you want. Because because when I see somebody has a spark of it, <coughs> that's how I am. I, I'm a Montessori teacher. That, that's mm -hmm. my background. And so so I'm I'm like, you you give me the environment and turn me loose. And I'll just, I, I, I'll go towards whatever it is that interests me the most. And that's where my passion is at that time. And that's what was happening with him. And I was basically creating a an adult Montessori environment for him. Mm -hmm. So I saw this spark of interest in 3D printing. I was like, just order whatever you want. It was like a thousand bucks for this stuff. It's not a big investment. At some point he said, oh, well, why don't we try 3D printing that? Because he saw something I was doing and I said, okay. So I was running around the shop grabbing some stuff. So then my brain started going additive. Wait a second. Wait, what about? So I said, you know what I need? I need one of these. Can you see what this is? It looks like a like a headstock. Yes. And the outside is square, so mm -hmm. I can clamp it in the vise. Because yeah. I'm always like, how am I supposed to hold a headstock? If I want to do so anything, inlays or, you know, put the switch the tuners. So, so we 3D printed a bunch of these different things, and I lined it with foam. And you just slip it over the headstock and clamp it in the vise. You can hold the whole neck that way. Mm -hmm. So so I thought, well, because I'd made them out of wood over the years, but but this was just the coolest thing. So so this is the this is the first thing we made, I think. This this peg head holder. And then my brain just started going nuts. I was like, wow, this is so cool. It was just so much better than the wooden ones I'd made. So are yeah. you getting are you getting into modeling a little bit too? Or are you are you grabbing a hold of the computer and, and banging out some designs? Or are you is everything kind of you you get to like tell the tell this person, hey, I got an idea. Oh well, we when he was here, he had to go back to Brazil because his mm -hmm. student visa ran out. But when he was here, we'd sit at the computer and I'd tell him what I wanted. Yeah, I mean, I could do it, but I don't want to. Yeah, I want somebody else having those headaches. Yeah, because it is nothing but headaches. And you see these guys who've been doing it; they're they're experts, pros at it, and it still drives them nuts. There's mm -hmm. always some problem. Anyway, we can get into that. But I wanted to show you this is the next thing that I that I yeah. Came up with. I was like, you know what I want? I want the ultimate bridge gluing call. So this thing, this is made for for OMs and and uh, mm -hmm. early dreadnoughts, and it just slips right over the right over the X brace, and you just clamp right on it. And, and you it got a, stepped, a, a recess for the bridge plate yeah, and, and everything. The bridge plate, yeah, yeah. This that it's hard to see, but this that's is cool. Are right. those are those holes for indexing something coming? Oh, coming that's out? that's where the the screws that hold the bridge on go. So you're so you're screwing down from the from the top of the bridge. So you're very fast fit then. Yeah, I screw them on, screw it down on the on the outside ease, and then I put clamps on on this. This cool. plate. Is that so, just like a like a, a wood screw into the into the three D printer? Do you have like uh like threads in in there? Well, sometimes I use those cool Stumac things that have the hole through them. Uh huh. Those are so those work well. Um, but but I I just use a um a bolt really just okay. a bolt washer i use an allen because i don't want it to slip off so i use an allen head cap screw yeah i'm um, with washer and nut on the inside cool but that's whole that hole's big enough to to go right over that so the problem with that is that you need a lot of them right because yeah you know i can't sell those on my website really because every they're all different they're all different yeah so, so i just you know it's like let's make one for this guitar let's make one for this guitar so we so we went nuts and just made a bunch of them and then my brain's still going and then we've made this next. I was like, you know what I really want? I want a way to hold the whole neck. Uh -huh. So this thing, 
is tapered to the neck. Yeah. And, and I, I've designed it so it has a slit down the middle. So when you put it in the vise like this and clamp it, it holds the neck perfectly and you can shift the neck one way or the other to, tight, to get get it tight. Tight, yeah. And you can grab it in the vise like and this. You're not gonna mar you're not gonna mar the back of the the back oh, of the neck. That's right. The... Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just a great way to really hold it in a solid way. Um so that that was a cool um cool day. Um and any now, of your any of your guitar repairing buddies like look at this and just go, what are you doing, TJ? Like any of them think you're you've gone gone off the reservation with the 3D printing or no, 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 I think they're interested. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, the truth is I wouldn't have done it without this 22 year old. You have to have yeah. a 22 year old yeah. who wants to work late at night and figure these problems out. Yeah. 